دمر كل ساحر وساحرة اللهم دمر الحمد لله الذي أرسل الرسول بالهدى والدين الحق ليذر على ديني كل وكفى بالله شهيدا أشهد لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد أحب في الله We live in, in times where evil has become widespread and the one who has who harbors envy and hatred inside him goes to length and resorts in different different types of evilness and wickedness to harm the individual some physically some he goes behind the sin and cause oppression like going to magician and want to cause oppression to a family want to cause oppression to an individual Now remember, if you have magic in you and you've been hit by magic, it's an act of oppression. If the person deliberately targets you, it's an act of oppression and whoever comes there as a jinn oppressing you, both is an act of oppression. Now today I'm going to talk about asihru ta'a. The influence of the magic in this world is widespread. That's why I'm focusing on this one today. Sihru ta, black magic of obedience. This magic is wicked and it's dangerous. Why? Because it makes a human being being obedient to another human being, another weak weak slave human being to be obedient to another weak slave human being. That is why it's wicked. Magic of obedience is easy for inch, for the person who been hit and those around him to recognize it because the obedience will be in the highest caliber highest level the magic of obedience the magician targets one place and one place alone it's the head the brain he sends multiple genes to go and stay there and cause issues after issues and the obedience of that person who's been hit by that magic it becomes crazy you won't, it's just not normal no there's no logic in it that fully submissive towards that person that person will be going to length just to be to to submit to be obedient to that person what do they do how does it work they use picture semen hair nail pad clothes shoes they can use all these and either they feed you or you drink it and then it will hit the individual by the qadr allah the person will struggle because his mind will be occupied he'll be a slave of a human being how can his mind be settled sihr ta'a is not normal magic That's why I say from the wickedest. You cannot become a slave of a human being. No. Because a human being himself is a slave. Everything around this world, it's a slave to the king who is up in the heavens. Al-Jabbar al-Aziz al-Qawi. So if any another human being goes and makes a human being a slave, it's not normal. It's wicked. wicked of the wickedness this why this magic from for me is the top number one ranking they they can they can separate husband and wife they can stop someone from going to work they can stop someone study they can stop someone uh, production system they can destroy someone beauty but to make an individual a slave obedient to someone a human being where Allah can stop that human being from urinating or going to the toilet and he's doing it. how does that work this is for me sihr ta'a is the number one sihr i pick that one because deep down in my heart i believe everything and according to the book of allah everything comes as a slave of Allah Rabbul Izzah 
there is no another slave slavery slavery was magic you make somebody become a slave and you he is obedient towards you fully he forgets his creator this is wicked what are the symptoms of this sihr it is always the same three morning evening and night the person will struggle general symptoms is that he will feel tightness in the chest tightness in the shoulders lethargic frequently excessive sleep excessive obedience towards one individual or two mental state and health deteriorate daily anxiety absent minded the person academical or in his intellect all will be gone he will not think for himself anymore this is the state of sihru ta'a the symptoms of sihru ta'a what's the way forward of this sihr this individual who's been captured who's been made obedient to another human being needs help and there's a lot out there needs help if you see him you know him he needs to find it he needs to have somebody to read on him frequently until he gains back his conscious and he needs to have hijama in his head frequently and henna mixed with rose water and honey put it in the head you can add one spoon of cider as well put it in the head of that individual frequently if that individual is not agreeing to it make dua for him abu yahya from the ruq talk wa akhir da'wana wa salam ala al mursalin walhamdulillah rabbil alamin Thank you.